When was the last time you had an actually good teammate in ranked? One week ago, two weeks ago, months ago. <laughs> These days, it is harder than ever to rank up. Even if you're doing all the right things, with all the information flowing out there and all the different pieces of advice, sometimes it can be impossible to know what you need to actually do to rank up at your rank. So in this video, I'm going over my three-step process to rank up, literally regardless of rank, regardless of meta, that I guarantee if you follow and actually stick to, will help you rank up by the end of the video. Also, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking two things. One, nice background, Luke. I know I'm in the middle of the move and I decided to make this video before I made my bed over there. Um, priorities, I know. And number two, you're thinking, Luke, the title says how to rank up in 2023 and it's only 2022. We're going to the future. I genuinely think like this stuff will help you rank up regardless of like where the meta's at. And actually on that note, let's do a quick time travel. Bang. Since my background is no good, we're going to be using this for the video. We're going to the future. Without any further ado, here are my three steps to rank up. And I'll throw in three bonuses at the end of the three worst mistakes that I honestly still see players make that literally, if you just avoid making, will save you so many games. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so jumping straight into the steps. Step number one is going to be joining my Discord server. No, okay, that's not actually it. Jokes, jokes. Step number one is actually finding teammates, which now that I think about it, my Discord server would help you with, but that's separate. The reason step number one is finding teammates is because I genuinely think the fastest way to like instantly rank up is to just stop solo queuing. From what I've seen actually enrolling people in my coaching program, and this is not me pushing my coaching program, this is just something I found even from people who joined the free Discord, is when you find a teammate, you can expect to shoot up anywhere from 50 to 150 MMR, literally by just not double committing and having all these communication errors. The problem is when you solo queue, you basically remove all like the potential teamwork and potential passing you could be doing. And you get into a lot of situations where literally it's not even like a mechanical issue or a game sense issue. It's just an issue of not knowing who should go for the ball. So like if you want the easiest way to rank up and you don't even want to change anything about your gameplay, literally just find a teammate at your rank. The best way to do it would be to join a server specifically related to improvement. My my server is the largest for that, but there are also servers like the Rocket League Free Help Discord. Other content creators, like I know Thanovic and Waitens have really good communities as well. Um, and seriously, like just joining a Discord server and finding teammates, you can rank up one, two, even three full ranks. Or if you're just absolutely opposed to joining Discord servers and you don't want to meet people that way, what you can also do is just queue up with people who you win with, because generally the people that you win with are going to be better. Literally just hit the party up button and you can run up like one or two ranks just off of that alone as well. So before we even talk about the Rocket League strategies, find teammates, stop solo queuing, and you'll be so much better off. Okay, moving on to step number two, and this one's not exciting, but it's focus on the basics. The truth is, if you're below Grand Champ watching this right now, the reason you're probably not ranking up is not because you're not scoring your air dribbles or your ceiling shots or your flip resets. As much as that stuff is fun to learn and it is useful at the higher levels, at the low ranks, the reason you score or get scored on is usually gonna come down to the basics. Things like shooting, things like shadow defense, and basic like dribbling, think think flicks, think bounce dribbles, those 20% of just the fundamental mechanics are what's going to give you 80% of your results in game. I get it, it's usually easier to look at the flashy mechanic and be like, oh, the reason I'm not ranking up is because I can't speed flip, or the reason I'm not ranking up is because I'm not scoring my air dribbles. When in reality, the reason you're not ranking up is probably because your kickoff sucks and you can't land your car after you miss the air dribble. In all seriousness, some Something I heard and the way I like to think about it is the fundamentals are what's going to come up over and over again. Whether you're air dribbling or going for a ceiling shot or doing any aerial mechanic, 
you always have to recover after. So you might as well get things like recoveries down really good that you're gonna have to use every time you go for an air dribble or an aerial. If you just focus on the fundamentals, especially once again, if you're below grand champ, this is the stuff that's gonna get you up there. If you're looking for specific things that I recommend you train, like I said, recoveries, great place to start. Shooting, everybody can work on shooting. But I also made a video that actually has got a lot of positive feedback. It's called how to get grand champ with zero mechanics where I literally outline the top five mechanics and the top three strategies like game sense tips that I'm using and used to go from zero to grand champ and that I'm actually using live in my road to SSL series. So if you want specifics with what to train and how to train, definitely go check out that video. But seriously, just focusing on the basics is probably not what you want to hear, but it's probably what you actually need to do to rank up once again, if you're below grand champ. Okay. So that covers it for step number two. But before we jump into step number three, I want to give a huge thanks to the video sponsor, technically me, but more so my coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Basically, for those of you who are new here, I run Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the GCR, where we take plat through champ ranked players up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less, or we work for free until we do. At the time I'm dropping this, we actually crossed the 100% capacity mark on this season of the coaching program. We filled up all 150 of 150 seats. So we're taking enrollment for just 48 hours after this video goes live. So if you want to get involved before we get started and the next group doesn't start until December, DM me on Discord with the keyword 48 and we can talk more details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, back to the video. Okay, finally, moving on to step number three. And this is one that I literally just couldn't go without saying for every rank. It's focus on your 1v1 play. Now, when I talk about focusing on 1v1 play, I'm not just going to say go queue ones, although queuing ones is good. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. What I think is super underrated at the lower ranks is not 1v1 offense, but 1v1 defense. The truth is at the lower ranks, you're going to be put in a lot of 1v1 situations on defense. And I'm of the opinion, if you've been watching like my road to SSL series, that you can literally get to grand champ, not even off of good playmaking offense, but just based on good 1v1 defense. Things like shadow defense, backward saves, being able to use your backboard and use the walls to saves are something that for whatever reason, people at the low ranks are so under trained when it comes to this stuff. Everybody wants to train offense and literally nobody wants to train defense. So if you just focus on 1v1 defense, I guarantee they just won't be able to score on you. <laughs> like it, they literally won't be able to. If you want specific ways to train this, literally just go into free play and you can use the D-pad shortcut. And if you drive towards your net on defense and use that D-pad shortcut, it'll shoot the ball at you and it'll allow you to practice backward saves over and over and over again. And I honestly think this is one of the fastest and best ways to improve your defense and literally make it almost impossible for a low ranked player to score against you. Okay, so those are, in my opinion, the three fastest ways to rank up, regardless of your rank, basically. Even if you're GC, those will help you probably rank up. But also, for the people who made it to this point in the video, I want to give you guys a little bit of a bonus, because honestly, half of it is like stuff that you need to do to rank up. Like, half of ranking up is learning new stuff, but the other half of ranking up that, like, nobody talks about is just getting rid of the bad habits. Like, yeah, half of what you need to do is learn new stuff and improve your speed and improve your recoveries, but there's also so many bad habits that I see people follow that prevent them from raking up for literally no reason. And I fall into these too, but I want to go over three mistakes that I see a ton that literally, if you just stop doing these things, will once again, make you rank up without even having to improve your mechanics. So mistake number one, and this is so common in like diamond and champ, especially like right before somebody ranks up, it's tilt queuing or flaming your teammates. As tempting as it is to flame teammates or keep queuing once you're getting frustrated or once you're getting tilted, it is so not worth it. Queuing when you're tilted will make you play so much worse because the truth is when you're tilted and you're not thinking smart, you're going to basically be just playing off of instinct. And when you play off of instinct and when you don't think at all, especially if you've been queuing a couple games, that's when a lot of the bad habits start to come out. And just one more more game turns into two more games, turns into three more games. And all of a sudden you threw away all of your progress on the day just because you were tilt queuing and you didn't put the controller down. So seriously, stop tilt queuing. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is stop playing when you're tired 
or on autopilot. You know, we all get those days where we're queuing on, it's late at night, and we're in game four, game five, and you know, you, you're slowly starting to fall off. For some people, they can queue like 10 games and still stay sharp. I know for me, like once I queue four or five games, I really start to lose my focus, right? Especially at like the higher rank lobbies. It can get really exhausting playing. So for you, if you like actually want to rank up, figure out how many games that you should actually play like and that you can actually play before you get tired and just stop queuing once you're tired i mean for most of us like we're peak in games like two three four five and once you get to like game eight nine ten you're gonna be so tired that you're just not playing your best so if you could just stop playing when you're tired you'll probably just win way more without having to change anything else and finally moving on to mistake number three is playing when you're rusty or just not warmed up you know we all have those days where we get on rocket league and for whatever reason like we're just feeling off like the mechs are slow the recoveries are bad and you know we're just not on for whatever reason and i i get this too sometimes but for whatever reason even when that happens we know that we shouldn't queue ranked and many of us just queue it anyways and basically we all know how that goes when you're not feeling good before the game you usually don't magically start feeling good after the game you you have to throw like one or two games just as warm-ups uh, before you actually get started so if you're somebody who does that and you just queue straight into rank if you're rusty if you're coming back from a couple days off put 15 minutes 10 15 i don't know 20 minutes into a warm-up and then wait until you feel good however long that takes for you before you queue ranked if you do that you'll probably save one or two losses every single time you play ranked which over the long term will once again add up into a lot of rank game so yeah those were my three ways to rank up find teammates focus on the basics and focus on 1v1 play especially 1v1 defense and then avoid the three mistakes stop tilt queuing or flaming your teammates stop playing when you're tired or on autopilot and don't play when you're rusty or not warmed up you fix those couple things and i swear you will instantly see an increase in your mmr Whew. okay that was a long one hopefully that was helpful let me know which one of these tips was the most helpful for you and if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching if you want to see more content from me before it goes live on the youtube or you just want to see life updates and stuff like that go ahead and follow my instagram i've just started posting posting there almost daily. It's just spook loot gram. I'll have it linked down below. But other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace guys.